Our next inductee is Anthony Stewart. Everybody knows first impressions are important. At the start of the Bills' 2009 football season, fans, coaches, and teammates were eager to see what this new running back from Joliet Junior College was going to do. It didn't take long. On the Mules' first play of their first possession of the season, the call was a screen pass to Anthony Stewart. A few seconds after the snap, Anthony was in the end zone with a 70-yard touchdown. To make a long story short, all he did that season was lead the team in rushing, receiving, and scoring. And the best was yet to come. In that magical 2010 season, Anthony was the key performer for the most prolific offense in Mules history. He rushed for over 1,000 yards. He caught 81 passes, which would have been the most in any season of Mules football, except 2010. He was second, and again would lead the team in scoring. In just two seasons, he set and still holds the UCM records for game, season, and career, pass receptions, and receiving yards by a running back. When asked about his favorite Mules memories, he mentioned that 70-yard touchdown pass in the 2009 season opener and the sensational fourth-quarter comeback to beat Nebraska Omaha in 2010. He had two of the Mules' touchdowns in that 27-point fourth quarter. That first NCAA playoff game against West Texas A&M was not too shabby either. 112 yards rushing and 131 yards receiving to help give the Mules their first ever playoff win. Anthony lives in Chicago and is the personal training director for LA Fitness in nearby Evanston. His reason for choosing Central Missouri was simple. He just wanted the opportunity to display his skills and did he ever. Anthony wants to thank God first and foremost, his parents, Daryl and Kim Stewart, Coach Clemens, Coach Fritz, Coach Edinger, and Coach Savota, John Culp, Jerry Hughes and Kathy Anderson with a special thank you to his offensive line and all his other teammates for helping make this special day possible for him. Now let's enjoy this video tribute to Anthony Stewart. One UCM Mules football player ranks in the top 10 in rushing yards, rushing touchdowns, receptions out of the backfield, and total points scored. These are outstanding career achievements to be sure. But what makes them even more impressive is that two-time All-American Anthony Stewart compiled these statistics in only two seasons. When Mules head football coach Jim Sabota took over the team in 2010, he knew Stewart possessed exceptional talent and skills. It was clear from the beginning that uh, uh, he was a guy that had uh, exceptional speed and change of direction, uh, tremendous ball skills, and was a very versatile weapon. Coach Sabota's high-flying 2010 team lit up scoreboards across the MIAA. In Anthony Stewart, he knew he had a multi-purpose back who kept defenses on their toes when facing the Mules' explosive offense. He was a guy that uh, you could just do a lot of things with uh, coming out of the backfield as a receiver, of course, running the football. And I think in terms, from a defensive perspective, I think a scary running back probably worries a defensive coach more than any other position. Simply because Anthony had the speed if he got to the second level that he could take it to the house on any particular play. And he was as fast as a receiver and as elusive as a receiver running routes. He was our most versatile guy. There's no question about that. Former UCM quarterback and Harlan Hill Award winner Eric Cerneski says opposing defenses had to prepare for Stewart as both a rushing and receiving threat. I would love to see them there for all four, four and a half that I was there because he had been number one, but no doubt with touchdowns and rushing yards. I think he was 110 yards away from 1,000 yards receiving in one season. In the same season, he, he rushed for 1,000 yards that year. As a threat, it didn't matter. I think he was the second leading receiver and the leading rusher on our team, you know, my senior year, maybe the third leading receiver my senior year. So just as that, it's just incredible to think about that didn't matter how you got this guy the football, he was going to make plays. Stewart's attitude, work ethic, and dedication were contagious and inspired his teammates on both sides of the ball. Coach Sabota, the self-described new guy, was impressed with the Mules' commitment to becoming one of the best teams in Mules football history. Well, he was kind of our spiritual leader, too, and uh, emotional leader. He was a tough guy. He played with a lot of passion and a lot of spirit, too. So. Having your best players, Anthony Stewart, Eric Cerneski, DeMarco Cosby, Jamoris Warren, be, be all guys that really bought in to what we were trying to do and also be great players was invaluable to me as a coach. And I think that Anthony was just one of those guys because of his playing ability and because of 
how he went about it on the field, you know, giving his best effort all the time, his talent, you know, was a, was a tremendous influence on everybody on that team. Anthony Stewart's career numbers would make a four-year starter proud, terrorizing opposing defenses for 37 touchdowns. He racked up nearly 2,000 rushing yards and holds the team's single-game record for pass receptions and receiving yards by a running back, with 10 catches for 146 yards. His stellar performance makes his induction into the UCM Athletic Hall of Fame a foregone conclusion. I can add one year of stats. I mean, that could be a career's worth of stats for an individual. Yeah, I mean, it was a key, a key part of success for us in 2010. So just a well-deserving person and definitely a well-deserving athlete. He was a kid that he knew anytime, you know, whether it was a pass five yards downfield or what, whether we just got the ball in his hands, that he literally could score a touchdown anytime he touched the ball. So it was just kind of exciting to see what he was going to do every week, really. You know, he's just a fun kid to watch. He's got the numbers and he was an outstanding teammate.